Welcome, my name is Master Vito from Bears Karate International here in Laredo, Texas, and this is your karate workout lesson of the day. Feet together, boss. All right, let's warm up. Arms out, circles forward. Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Backward, I'm a little sore from a couple of days ago's workout, so if I warm up my shoulders a little bit more than usual, you know the reason why. All right, keep going, keep going. Three, four, and five. Crisscross, hopefully you guys are having a great day. It's Tuesday, let's have a good workout. I'm wearing my favorite Disney shirt from my favorite Disney park, Epcot. It's gonna be a good workout, gonna be a good lesson. Hands up, knees to your chest, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, good. Elbows up in front, knees to the side, go. One, open up those hips. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, good. All right, the new one, put your left leg in front, the right leg in back. You're gonna pick up your knee and then open it to the side, okay? You can do this, up, and around. Ooh, that feels good. Do it again. Two, three, four, and five. Good. My hips feel a little tight today, so just gonna focus on them a little bit more. Same thing with your left leg. Up and then around. Ready? One, two, three, four, and five. Shake your legs out. Good, good, good. All right, jumping jacks. Just to get the heart pumping a little bit before we start stretching out. Ready, go. your legs straight. Don't bend your knees. Okay. Keep your legs straight. Put your hands on your thighs, on your knees, on your shins, on your feet, on your insteps, or on the floor. Whichever one feels a little more comfortable. Grab your right leg with both hands. Hopefully everyone's doing good out there. Hopefully everyone's doing the workouts. The lessons switch. Today's lesson is gonna be more of a quote unquote karate lesson in the sense that we're gonna be going over your blocks. Down the middle, we're gonna be going over your blocks, making sure you know the bend your knees, slowly come up, making sure that you know the three basic blocks in our system and pretty much any system of uh, karate. Okay, so we're gonna be going over your, what we like to call your circle of protection. Okay, so that's just a little teaser for what's gonna be coming up. Okay, your circle of protection. Pretty much you do a circle around you, right here, right? And we're gonna be going over your three basic blocks to go over that, okay? Uh, before, let's keep on stretching. All right, grab your right instep, bring it up. Okay, so we're doing, uh, for the workout today, we're doing burpees and we're doing squats, okay? Burpees and squats. Nothing too crazy. Switch, nothing too crazy. Focusing on uh, good technique, right? 
good quality reps of your burpees and your squat. So we have a little bit of rest in between each round. Down, good. On the rest in between each round, guys, just try to bring that heart rate back down and then restart, all right? It's gonna be a little bit of a burner, nothing too crazy. Right foot, keep tall the 10 toes, right? All your toes facing in front. Put your right leg behind you, keeping your heel down, both heels down, stretching out your calf, okay? Stretch out your calf. Okay, a lot of different ways to stretch out your calf. I like this one. Um, kind of opens up my front leg. I kind of push my knee to the side a little bit when I'm stretching. So I'm stretching out my calf, opening my hip a little bit. Yeah, like I said, my hips feel a little tight today. Switch. All right, all 10 toes. If you're standing straight up, facing forward. Left leg goes a little bit more to the left side. Heels down. Open up. Where you feel a good stretch. Mm. I like to push my, keep my heels on the floor, push my hip forward, back straight. So I feel like I'm stretching my back, my hip, and my calf all at the same time. Like I said, many different ways to stretch out the calf, but I like this one because it's a complex stretch. Right? You're stretching a bunch of different things. Good. Hope you guys are liking these videos. Hope you guys are sharing these videos. You know, share them with everybody in your family. Making sure everybody stays active, especially in this time of quarantine. Making sure everybody stays healthy, right? You're eating healthy, uh, you're staying active, drinking plenty of water. Um, yeah, just be active, all right? All right, you guys. So, the workout for today, <clears throat> like I said, pretty simple. There's only two movements in it. There's gonna be eight burpees, 16 squats, 30 seconds rest, okay? Four rounds. So eight burpees, 16 squats, air squats, so you don't have to have any weight or anything, then 30 seconds rest, okay? Like I said before, on the 30 seconds rest, try to take deep breaths, bring your heart rate back down, and then right back at it, okay? So eight burpees, 16 air squats, 30 seconds rest, Four rounds, eight, 16, 30 seconds rest, eight, 16, 30 seconds rest, eight, 16, 30 seconds rest, eight, 16, 30 seconds rest. If you guys are ready, I'm ready. Get a swig of water, press pause. Down here or somewhere, press pause. If you're ready, I'm ready. All right, uh, like, I, like I've done before in different workouts, I like to face different ways. Whenever I do a workout, because since when I'm in the workout, and I'll, sometimes I lose track of, of how many I've done, how I'll lose reps, lose counts. So uh, I just face different ways. I'm perfect, so I'm gonna divide everything by four. So you can do the same, you can be facing the same way, or do whatever you like. Just make sure you do eight burpees, 16 air squats, and 30 seconds rest. I'm gonna put my timer on just for the 30 seconds rest. Okay, five, four, Three, two, one, eight burpees, go. That's eight. I'm gonna do four, 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 sixteen squats. Seconds rest. That was eight burpees, 16 air squats. 20 seconds.
30 seconds rest. Feeling good. Remember to have your own timer, guys. It helps a lot. A little clock on the wall or a watch. Perfect. Or happy parents, or happy boyfriend, or girlfriend, or husband, or wife. Keep a clock for you. Five seconds. Seconds. Get the heart pumping. <clears throat> and if you guys suffer from allergies, whew, I got them hard right now. That's all right. Just gotta work through it. Work through it. Five seconds. Last round. Let's go. Took me about four minutes, 40 seconds. Excellent. Finish it up, get a good rest. Like I said, we're gonna be going over your basic blocks. Nothing too crazy. Even your workout's gonna be a little simple today. So, excellent. You feel good? Get us with the water. Be back. Awesome. All right, so. Like I said before, we're gonna be going over your three basic blocks that we have in our style, Kahuto Bushido. So, for, with, uh, when we teach pretty much anything in our style, we usually teach it in two of the basic stances that you learn in our style. So, your first stance is going to be, one of your first stances is gonna be your guard, or it's gonna be your strap. Now your guard is a stance where it's called a teachable stance. You teach, it's called an intention stance also. It's also is your fighting stance, right? Your second one or your first one, one of the first two is gonna be your strap, okay? Your legs are open equally, your knees are bent equally, and your hands are either here on the side, high and tight, or right in front of you. So this stance is through and through a teaching or attention stance, okay? You're really never ever gonna be in a straddle when you're fighting, okay? You shouldn't. You should never be in a straddle when you're fighting. It is clearly a teaching stance or an attention stance. What I mean by that is that we put our students in a straddle to stand attention, feet together stand attention, or in shots stand attention, or teaching. So you're either in the, you're, you're gonna be in the stance while your instructor teaches. It, 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 it pretty much teaches you one, strength and control with your legs, because if you're ever been in this position for over 30 seconds, you know, your legs are tightening up a little bit, right? Teaches you a little bit about strength, a little bit of adversity, right? Being like, oh my God, it hurts a lot. And if you stand up straight, your instructor gets after you, like, oh my God, you gotta get down. So it teaches you a little bit of adversity too, right? A lot of attention, a lot of control. It teaches you to really control your body, not to be moving all over the place, right? And it's a beautiful stance. It seems very, very simple, but to be here for a long period of time, it's difficult, right? That's one of the reasons why we put you in a strap, okay? So 
Parents, tell your kids to get in a straddle, right? You're getting after them. So uh, you're gonna get in your straddle, hands in, high and tight, right? You can have them on your hips. You can have them right above your hips. I like to have them high and tight, right? High and tight right here, right next to your ribs, okay? So your first block that we're gonna be going over is your downward block. Your downward block is gonna be protecting your ribs, also your thighs a little bit, right? But most of anything protects your ribs. Somebody tries to kick your ribs, somebody tries to punch your ribs, but when you throw a downward block, okay? So from your straddle, let's go over it. Your right, this is my right, right downward block is gonna come up, right? Next to your ear, and then down. Okay, right, if my rib is right here in front, it's gonna be right outside my ribs, right? I don't wanna block where my rib is because if that hand comes around, that foot comes around, it's gonna hit my rib, okay? So up and out. Very important is that, make believe your forearm is a two by four, okay? You wanna be blocking with the edge, the smaller part of the two by four and not the flat part, the big, thicker part, right? Because you have a two by four, you get a two by four and you hit it on the flat part, boom, on an edge, one leg is gonna break, right? But if you hit it right, if you hit it right on the on the on the thinner edge, boom, you hit a two by four, it's not gonna break, right? So have that in mind, right? You always wanna have your hand, your palm and your hand facing down or the palm and the hand facing up also, okay? So you don't really ever want to block like this unless it's a backhand block. It's a little bit more traditional, but I'm not going over that right now. Okay, so hands in, right hand up next to your ear, and then down, outside of your body, right here. Okay, that's your right outside block. Right, I'm sorry, right downward block, correction. Hand back in, left downward block, up and down. Good control, bringing back in, right downward block, up. In, left, up, down, good, right, up, down, set, left, up, down, set, last four to go faster, right, keep, good, set, left, keep, good, set, right, keep, good, set, left, keep, good, set, very good. That's your first one, your right downward block. It's gonna be, or left downward block, it's gonna be right outside, okay? Remember, not in front of you this way, because then you're not, you're not gonna protect your ribs. Right outside, if I was gonna guard, I'd be blocking, boom, right here. See, see where my rib is right here? My rib is right here in front. Um, just a little bit off to the side, I'm not gonna be blocking right here. Now, if the kick is coming up this way, boom, yes, of course I wanna block you in front. But for this example, it's gonna be right outside your ribs, okay? Right knife hand block. Again, going back to the two by four uh, example, you still wanna block with the edge of your arm right here and not the back of your arm, okay? Not the flat part, the edge, the edge. Now, I guess every block could be considered a strike if you hit hard enough with that block. Your knife hand is a strike slash block, okay? Because your knife hand can really hurt the person that's, that's throwing a punch at you. Okay, throwing a wild swing at you. If you ever had somebody hit you really hard with a knife hand block, with no glove or nothing, right here on your forearm, it just cramps your hand up and you really don't ever want to block, throw, throw anything with that ever again, right? So your knife hand block could be, could be considered a strike, okay? So your right knife hand block is gonna start from the same position from your straddle, knees slightly bent, bring your hand in. Now your hand is open like a knife. Okay, and it's open right here and goes across your face. It's very important. A lot of people will do this. A lot of people will bring it up this way and for some reason they'll go down this way and they'll pick it up. It's completely wrong. You, 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 you've missed your face. You've missed your neck, the side of your, the side of your head. The side, you missed everything right here, what you want to protect, okay? So you're protecting all this part. So make sure it comes in and then across your face, out, okay? I was telling my students, like, you give me a high five. You give me a high five to somebody. Same rules apply. This one's outside your body over here. This one should be outside your body over here also. It should not be in front of your face, okay? Because they're gonna go around your hand. So right knife hand block, up, out. Like that, to the side. Left knife hand, 
up, out, cross my face, good, right, up, out, left, up, out, good, right, up, out, good, left, up, out, good, last four, a little faster, right knife hand, one, set, left knife hand, two, Right like that. Good. Left like that. Good. Very good. So you have your downward. Nice. Last one is your rising block. Okay. Like I said before, all these blocks, these three blocks, can be thrown from a guard. Downward. Right. Nice. Okay. Go back to your straddle. Set the tension. Hands nice and high and tight. Your rising block. Your rising block is the block that's going to protect multiple parts of your body. Okay. Your downward block is going to protect most mainly your ribs. Your knife hand block is going to protect mainly right here. Okay. Side of your face, side of your head. Your rising block comes in right here, right to your solar plex. Right. Goes up right here from your chest to protect your chest. Right here to protect your neck. Right here has to. This is very important. Sweeps your face because it protects your face and it protects your head. Okay. Elbow slightly high. I'm sorry. Wrist correction slightly higher than your elbow. Okay. Very important that it's right here in front of you, not over here. Okay. So it doesn't do this. Okay. It doesn't do that. Doesn't do this either. Okay, you're not doing a jumping jack. Don't come across. Has to sweep your face. So it comes right, rising block comes in, up, back down. Left rising, in, up, and back down. Right rising, back, good, in. Left rising, back, in. Right rising, in. Sweeps your face, sweeps your body. Good. Wrist higher than your elbow, blocking with the edge, not the flat part, the edge of your arm. Left rising. Good. Right rising. Left rising. Right rising. Left rising. Good. Very good. Feet together. So, we called it the circle of protection because you blocked your ribs, block your face, head, block your body, okay? Rising block, knife head block, down block. Those three make a circle. Yes, make a circle, okay? So your workout, or the whole workout, more so workout with the lesson, is going to be working over those three blocks, going forward and coming backwards. Going forward, coming backwards, in a guard, okay? So, remember, your guard is right here, all right? This is your guard. So I want you to work 10 downward blocks going forward, then 10 downward blocks coming back. I'll do about three or four of them for you. You're gonna go one, Take a step up here, two. Take a step up here, three. Come a little back. Take a step up here, four. Downward block, protecting your rib, where your rib is, a little bit to the side. Then going backwards. One, two, I hit the bag. Three, and four. Okay, and we'll get a little bit of, of, of an angle, okay guys? Knife hand block. One, two, three, four. Going backwards. One, two, three. A rising block. Remember, it has to come up, sweeping your face. One, from your stomach or from your soul plex. Two, three. 10 going forward, then 10 going back. One, 
two, bend both knees, three. All right? Give me 10 going forward, 10 coming back of your downward. 10 going forward, 10 coming back of your right hand. 10 going forward, 10 coming back of your rising blocks. Okay? Give me anywhere between two to five rounds of that. I got your five rounds. You still got a little bit in you. Give me another round. The more you do these blocks, the more you keep your knees bent. It's very, very simple. Very wrong, but very simple to have your legs like this. And just do this. Especially when you don't have the instructor right in front of you, right? You gotta give you a little bit of discipline with yourself, right? You gotta be strict with yourself. Bend your knees, make it hurt, okay? Do this workout with the lesson, work on your blocks, and uh, we'll be here tomorrow. Make sure to share this video, guys. Share it. Spread the love, spread the knowledge. Let's be active, let's learn something new today. Us, alrighty guys. Love you guys, and uh, we'll see you tomorrow. Feet together, us.